4010 multiplied by 0 0.0001 is equals to underscore solution 4010 multiplied by 0 0.0001 i will be showing you trick that is far different in doing normal process of multiplication in multiplying whole number with a decimal the trick goes like this disregard the zero from the decimal to the right before the first number other than zero and now let us do the multiplication process. 1 multiplied by 0, the result is 0. 1 multiplied by 1, the result is 1. 1 multiplied by 0, the result is 0. 1 multiplied by 4, the result is 4. Then bring down the decimal point. The final answer is equals to 0 0.4010 or 0 0.401. Negative 7 to the power of 2, added by, minus 7 to the power of 2 is equals. Solution. Negative 7 to the power of 2 is equals to, 49. 7 to the power of 2 is equals to, 49. Positive multiplied by, negative 49 is equals to, negative 49. 49 minus 49 is equals to, 0. When the first and the last digits of 2836 are interchanged, the new number is underscore. Solution. When the first and the last digits of 2836 are interchanged, it will become 6832. There are instances that, in solving numerical reasoning, the answer and computation depends to the given options. 6832 subtracted by 2836, the result is 3996, which is more than 2836. If twice the value of a certain number is increased by 8, the result is 40. What is the number? Solution. Let x equals number. Equation. 2x plus 8 is equal to 40. When a positive number is being transposed, it will become a negative. The equation will now become 2x equals 40 subtracted by 8. The new equation now is 2x is equals to 32. Here, still we can calculate the value of x. Transpose the multiplier, and it will now become the divisor. We derived an equation. x is equals to 32 divided by 2. The result is x is equals to 16. Gen Z's dad is five times as old as Gen Z and Gen Z is twice as old as her sister Simi. In two years, the sum of their ages will be 58. How old is Gen Z now? Solution. Let x equals Gen Z's age. 5x equals dad's age. 2x equals Simi's age. Equation. 5x plus 2x added by 2 is equals to 58. Simplify. 5x plus 2x plus 2 is equal to 58. By combining like terms. It will now become 7x plus 2 is equals to 58. Transposition. It will now become 7x is equals to 58 subtracted by 2. The equation now is 7x is equals to 56. To calculate the value of x, transpose the multiplier 7 to become the divisor, and the equation now will become x is equals to 56 divided by 7. The result is x is equals to 8. In a group of 120 persons, there are 32 more women than men. How many women are there in the group? Solution. Let x equals numbers of men x plus 32 equals numbers of women. Equation x plus x plus 32 is equal to 120. Simplify x plus x plus 32 is equals to 120. Combining like terms, it will become 2x plus 32 is equals to 120. Transposition 2x is equals to 120 subtracted by 32. The equation is now 2x is equals to 88. 
To calculate the value of x, transpose the multiplier, and it will become the divisor. The equation is now x is equals to 88 divided by 2. The result is the value of x, which is equals to 44. Solve for the number of women. The equation is x plus 32 is equals to. Distribute the value of x. It will now become 44 plus 32. The result is equals to 76. If the dimensions of a square change in such a manner that the area remains constant, what must happen to the other side if one side will be increased by one quarter of itself? The original figure has a square dimension. One side was increased by one quarter of itself, so it is now become to a rectangle, but still the area is the same as the area of the square. Solution Let A stands for area is equals to 1. B stands for base is equals to 1.25. H stands for height is equals to unknown. Equation The formula of area of a rectangle is equals to base multiplied by height is equals to area. Simplify the equation. 1.25 multiplied by height is equals to 1. Transposition. H is equals to 1 divided by 1.25. The result is H is equals to 0.8. 1 subtracted by 0.8 the result is equals to 0.2. The height decreases to 0.2. If 0.2 is multiplied by 100%, it decreases by 20%. If 20% is divided by 100%, it decreases by 1 fifth. If x subtracted by 3 is equals to y, then y subtracted by x to the power of 3 is equals to underscore. Solution. The equation is x subtracted by 3 is equals to y. Transposition, negative 3 is equals to y subtracted by x. Evaluate the equation y subtracted by x to the power of 3 is equals. Simplify the equation negative 3 to the power of 3 is equals to negative 27. 0 0.75 is to 3 quarters as 0 0.8 is to underscore. Solution. To be honest, you can calculate this by ratio and proportion, but still you need to convert the result into fraction. Here in this example, I will share to you my way of solving this sample problem. Equation to convert into percent. 0.8 multiplied by 100% is equals to 80%. Equation to convert into fraction. 80% divided by 100% is equals to 4 fifths. The fraction of 80% over 100% is. To have a result of fraction, the percent sign must be crashed out. Then find a divisor that can divide both 80 and 100. As determined, 20 can divide both with a whole number result. 80 divided by 20, the result is 4. 100 divided by 20, the result is 5. The fraction of 0.8 is equals to 4 fifths. 75% is to 1 half as 45% is to underscore. Solution. If 75% is equals to 1 half. Therefore 150% is equals to 1. Equation to convert into fraction. 45% divided by 150% is equals to 3 tenths. The fraction of 45% over 150% is. To have a result of fraction, the percent sign must be crashed out. Then find a divisor that can divide both 45 and 150. As determined, 15 can divide both with a whole number result. 45 divided by 15 the result is equals to 3. 150 divided by 15 the result is equals to 10. The fraction of 45% is equals to 3 tenth. 0 0.25 is to 0 0.125 as to 1.25 is to underscore. Solution by ratio and proportion. 0 0.25 over 0 0.125 is equals to 
1.25 over x. Cross multiply it will become 0.25x is equal to 1.25 times 0.125. Transposition. The equation is now x is equals to 1.25 multiplied by 0.125 divided by 0.25. The result is x is equals to 0.625. 2 is to 50 as 3.2 is to underscore. Solution. By ratio and proportion. 2 over 50 is equals to 3.2 over x. Cross multiply it will become 2x is equals to 50 multiplied by 3.2. Transposition. x is equals to 50 multiplied by 3.2 divided by 2. The result is x is equals to 80. 14 is to 28 as 5 is to underscore. Solution. By ratio and proportion. 14 over 28 is equals to 5 over x. Cross multiply 14x is equal to 5 times 28. Transposition. x is equals to 5 multiplied by 28 divided by 14. The result is x is equals to 10. 4 multiplied by 8 plus 12 fourths subtracted by 8 halves equals. Solution. Simplify. 32 subtracted by 1 is equals to 31. I will be showing to you how do I get the negative 1. Subtraction of fractions. 12 fourths subtracted by 8 halves equals. Use the less common denominator. To easily have it, multiply the denominator 4 and 2, and the result will be the LCD, which is equal to 8. 8 divided by 4, the result is 2, multiplied by the numerator 12, the result is 24. 8 divided by 2, the result is 4, multiplied by the numerator 8, the result is 32. 24 subtracted by 32, the result is negative 8. Negative 8 over 8, the result is negative 1. 483.43 plus 123.334 plus 31.5544 plus 444.4 equals. Solution. Align all decimals and then sum up all. 483. 183.43. 123.334. 31.5544. The addition process. Bring down 4. 4 plus 4 is equals to 8. 3 plus 3 plus 5 is equals to 11. Bring down 1, carry 1. 1 plus 4, plus 3, plus 5, plus 4 is equals to 17. Bring down 7, carry 1. Bring down the decimal. 1 plus 3, plus 3, plus 1, plus 4 is equals to 12. Bring down 2, carry 1. 1 plus 8, plus 2, plus 3, plus 4 is equals to 18. Bring down 8, carry 1. 1 plus 4, plus 1, plus 4 is equals to 10. The sum is equals to 1082.7184. Rules in determining greater value in fraction. The lesser the numerator and the denominator, when simplified is the greater value. In this given example, 50 seventieths can be simplified into 5 seventh and it is the greatest. 44 is 80% of what number? Solution. Equation. N times 80% is equals to 44. Transposition. N is equals to 44 divided by 80%. To eliminate the percent sign, divide 80% by 100%. The result is equals to 0.8. 44 divided by 0.8. Move the decimal both to the right. 0.8 will become 8, and 44 will now 440. 44 divided by 8 is equals to 5. 5 multiplied by 8 is equals to 40. 44 subtracted by 40, 
the result is 4. Bring down 0. It will now become 40. 40 divided by 8 is equals to 5. 5 multiplied by 8, the result is 40. 40 subtracted by 40, the result is 0. 55 is the final answer. 18 plus 3 multiplied by 3, added by the sum of 54 over 3 plus negative 68 over negative 4 equals. Solution Equation 18 plus 9 plus 35 is equal to 62. I will show to you, how do I get the 35? 54 over 3 are added by negative 68 over negative 4. Find a number that can be divided by both 3 and negative 4. Negative 12 is being decided as the common denominator. Negative 12 divided by 3, the result is equals to negative 4 multiplied by 54 is equals to negative 216. Negative 12 divided by negative 4, the result is equals to 3 multiplied by negative 68 is equals to negative 204. This will now become negative 420 over negative 12 is equals to 35. There are three numbers whose sum is 54. One number is double and triple times greater than the other numbers. What are those numbers? Solution. Let x is equals to number. 2x is equals to 2 times greater than x. 3x is equals to 3 times greater than x. Equation. x added by 2x added by 3x is equals to 54. Simplify. 6x is equals to 54. Transposition. x is equals to 54 divided by 6. x is equals to 9. Numbers are 9, 18, and 27. At 6.30 a.m., Ginny told Margaret that she found Blessy 15 and a quarter hours ago. At what time Ginny found Blessy? Solution. Given. 6.30 a.m. the time Ginny told Margaret. 15 and a quarter hours elapsed time. Required. Time Ginny found Blessy. In solving time problem like this, date a must to be determined. For reason that, to be more specific in our computation. In this example, let us assume that the date is December 25, 2022. 630 subtracted by 15 hours 15 minutes. It cannot be, so we borrow one day which is 24 hours. So it will now become 30 hours 30 minutes December 24, 2022. We can now subtract 15 hours 15 minutes. The result is 15 hours 15 minutes December 24, 2022. The time is in 24 hour time format. We need to convert it to civil time by subtracting 12 hours. To cater the answer of this problem, disregard the date. The preceding time is 3 hours 15 minutes. The time Genie found, bless you. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and click the notification bell for you will be updated for our next upcoming video.